Hurricane Ian intensifies. Make sure that you do not underestimate the impacts of this storm. Get out right now. Everybody needs to go. Evacuation orders are in place. Cruise ships rerouting, ports shutting down. Everybody in the state of Florida is going to feel the impact of this storm. Preparing for a potentially catastrophic hurricane. If you can leave, leave now. Natural disasters are honestly terrifying. And right behind me is a hurricane. Oh gosh. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not joking. There is a massive hurricane headed right towards me in about 15 hours. I personally have never even experienced a hurricane before. So this is gonna be a first time for you and me. So yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go take my last shower because if the power goes out, I'm not gonna be able to take a shower for a few days. So. I just kind of wanted to like show you guys how it is going through a hurricane. The storm is starting to move faster and instead of hitting us at 4 a.m., it's gonna be coming at 1 a.m., which means I need to give you a little tour. The storm bunker. The reason my bathroom is the storm bunker is because it has no windows, which means flying objects from outside can't crash into us inside. The winds are like really high, by the way. They're like over 100 miles an hour, which is faster than I can run. We have a little fan in our bathroom that makes noises when there's like a big storm. Mm, well. So far we still have power, but just in case, just in case, if we did not keep power the entire time. Look at this, look at this. Oh. Wow, this thing makes me look really white, but I'll be able to see in the dark, so that's really good. We don't have that much more time until the storm actually arrives. So I'm gonna go ahead and look up like the news and eat my cereal. I kinda just wanna know what's gonna happen, to be honest. Like it hasn't really hit me until now that we're about to have tornadoes and hurricanes just around our house, I guess. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna watch I'm gonna watch the news for like the first time ever. So there are tornadoes around five miles away. The hurricane bunker is now decked out. We somehow still have power though. There's these random gusts of wind, as you can hear. And it just settles down like that. It's so weird. The hurricane though is moving closer and closer to my location. Okay, our power went out for one second. It literally just flashed. It was like that. This is gonna sound crazy, but I'm going to get some board games because if I'm gonna be stuck in the storm bunker for a couple hours, I'm gonna be bored. And then I'm gonna need some board games. Brain games. This is actually sick, I forgot we had this. Watch your mouth. If you've never played this before, you have to get this game. It's so much fun, but it does take multiple people. So if you have no friends, don't, don't bother. This is like my childhood and I'm gonna bring Uno. I'm very good at this game, by the way. None of you guys can beat me, I, I, I promise. So these are the four games that I'm gonna bring into the Storm Bunker. Brain Games, Uno, Connect Four, and Watch Gem. Something just smacked my window pretty hard, and we're gonna go check. Oh my God. I don't know why I hit the window then. Hello everyone, I'm actually in the storm bunker right now. Surprise. <laughs> we still have power, like our, our power didn't go out. Like if I wanted to go flip the light on, I could. I just, I just like the lantern too much. It's weird, every single person in this town lost power like four hours ago. It's really, really windy outside though, I will say that. The wind's moving like 55 miles an hour right now. That's quick, no flooding, nothing bad happening. I think I just got kind of excited to finally experience a hurricane, but I was kind of hoping to be bunkered down in the storm bunker and genuinely lose power. That sound, this is, this actually sounds terrible. Oh my God. I don't know. I think I got excited. I think I just got pumped up, but yeah, it didn't and everything's okay. However, I do know that a lot of stuff did happen in Florida. So we're going to go for a big drive tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to go to sleep. Not in here, by the way, not in here. I'm going to go sleep on the couch like a normal human. So, peace out. Good morning. 
We still have power. My cat actually fell in the bathtub last night. The bathtub has water in it just in case if like the power did go out and we would have to flush our toilet. But the cat fell in the water and ran frantically through the house. But not much else has happened. I'm gonna make a bowl of cereal and then we're gonna go look at the damage outside. Please comment your favorite cereal. I'm actually really curious. I feel like mine varies every single week. This is Reese Puffs. I would say my favorite's probably Captain Crunch, but like I said, it varies every single week. And voila. <laughs> I ate all the cereal and I changed my shirt. And now we're gonna go out to the car and see the damage. That sucks. We actually put all of our outside furniture in the pool so it wouldn't blow around everywhere during the hurricane, but it backfired because now the pool is greener than I've ever seen it before. So now we have to use a rake to get all the furniture out. Hopefully it doesn't get any more green because that would suck. And now we're gonna go look at more damage because this is actually really interesting to me that just a storm can create this much damage throughout a, a town. Oh, some trees fell on their house. Their entire tree fell down. This tree is completely unrooted. I usually don't make videos like this, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to show you guys how it is in a hurricane. Most of the world doesn't actually get hurricanes, but it could have been a lot worse, and I'm really glad it wasn't. Before the video ends, I would like to mention that there's two links in the description to help with everything that Hurricane Ian did. One of the links being American Red Cross. American Red Cross basically feeds everyone that has been really badly affected by Hurricane Ian, and that will be the first link in the description. The second link that's also really, really important is called American Humane, and American Humane actually helps helps saving animals that have been affected by the hurricane. Let's say your house got destroyed and your dog got loose, and now there's this animal that has no survival skills out in the wild. American Humane actually helps with that. And actually, when we were driving around the town after the hurricane, we found this little baby squirrel and we weren't sure if it was alive or not. It's very cold in Florida after um, big storms like that. But the squirrel was very cold and we wrapped it up into a blanket and we tried to see if it was still alive and we don't think it was. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that, I mean, there's animals everywhere and so many living beings have been affected by this hurricane. It's it's not even funny. But anyways, let me know if you guys like this style of content. I really, really enjoyed making this video, but it's not like my usual thing. Also hit the subscribe button. Our goal is 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And recently we just hit 50,000. So we are officially halfway. And I'll see you guys next time. Toodles.